Welcome back to the Universe of Power. If this is your first time tuning in, welcome. Please like, comment, and subscribe for all things within the Power Universe. We are two episodes in, and there have been many things happening that may have major consequences as the season goes further. In today's video I will break down a few key moments and easter eggs that may have gone unnoticed so far, and also point out possible connections and break down the possible true motives of Detective Carter, after we learned a little more about his character. But before I go into that, I would like to provide even more evidence that backs up my theory on another spin-off coming in the future. Recently, actor Joseph Sakura went on Instagram and basically confirmed exactly what I predicted would happen. When Gary Lennon and the other writers and I were mapping out our third season, we saw that we were telling a complete story and that this was the perfect opportunity to stay true to our artistic vision and make this the final chapter in Tommy's journey in Chicago. But don't worry, Tommy's journey is far from over with. We're just getting warmed up and I can't wait to show you what we have planned next. Want to give a big shout out to all the players, the cast, the crew from Power Book 4 Force and tell you to tune in because ghosts never die and power never ends. As you just heard, season three of Power Book Force will be the final season, but Joseph also says that Tommy's journey is far from over with. And with 50 saying that he will be expanding the Power Universe, this all but confirms that there could be another set of spin-offs with both Tariq and Tommy coming after both series end. So for anyone that still believes that Power will be completely over after the end of Book 2 and Force, think again. If you're curious as to what direction they could go in after Book 2 and Force ends, I recommend checking out my video from a few weeks ago. In the first two episodes, there have already been a number of things that have happened. With the unexpected early death of Junior, along with the introduction of new characters like Detective Carter, Monet's sister Janet, and Noma's daughter Anya, the final season of Book 2 is already on par to be the best season within the series. Right off the bat, we learned of Diana being pregnant, just as I predicted months ago when there were some that told me I was reaching. At this point, it seems like the show is evolving Diana into being Tariq's Tasha. Their interactions with each other always reminded me of how Ghost and Tasha were before Angela popped up at Club Truth in Season 1 of Power. But the main question surrounding Diana's pregnancy is how will Monet and Tariq react after Diana breaks the news to them? And after we saw Tariq learn from Monet that she never gave Kate Egan the letter, I believe that it will only be a matter of time before Tariq goes to see Kate. And this could be how Tariq finds out that it was Diana who actually sent Tasha's address. This could lead to Tariq confronting Diana, which could be why we see him pointing a gun at her in the trailer. I believe that this will be the moment when Tariq learns of her being pregnant. Being that Diana hooked up with Tariq after Salim, it's safe to say that Tariq is 100% the father. Now there are a number of people that believe Diana will get taken out in episode 7, based off of the synopsis. But in my opinion, I don't think that will be the case. A major loss that brings Tariq and the Tejadas together could be the deaths of both Tasha and Monet's sister Janet. Moving on to the introduction of Detective Carter, and how we got a little more clarity on his backstory. Based off of Detective Carter and Paz's interaction with each other, it's safe to say that one or two things can be true. Either Detective Carter knows Paz due to Angela being in law enforcement, or Detective Carter grew up with Paz and Angela. But either way, one of these scenarios would mean that Detective Carter is a lot more familiar with Ghost than we expected. I believe that even more will be uncovered as the season goes on, explaining what kind of history Detective Carter had with Ghost, if any. I mean, how else would he know how Ghost smells? He seems like the type of detective that will do whatever he can to catch Tariq this season, even if that means breaking the law. I wonder if Carter was playing mind games with Tariq by pushing him to go check on Tasha, just so he could give Tasha a final strike to kick her out. Mind you, it's a small town, but Tariq could easily be seen in public. So all witness protection would have to do is check the security footage and prove that Tariq was there to see Tasha. 
and I believe Tariq may have cost Tasha her final strike after beating down her creepy manager in a public parking lot. It will be very interesting to see how this unfolds during the season. On a side note, I wouldn't be surprised if Detective Carter was related to Lauren's mother or father in some way. Next up we have the introduction of Monet's sister Janet, who seems to be the complete opposite of Monet. After last season, I knew that we would learn more about Monet's backstory being that we only learned about the Tejada side of the family. The flashback scene that we got of Monet and Lorenzo when they were younger was one of the highlights of episode 2 in my opinion. The casting was perfect for both characters, and I wouldn't be surprised if they somehow tie Monet into knowing Kanan back in the day, or even Jukebox. And if we continue to get flashback scenes this season, I believe that my theory on us getting the real perspective of what happened the night Ghost got shot could actually become a reality. We saw Drew do everything possible to finish the job on Monet, but Diana continued to stand in his way. It's only a matter of time before Monet finds out the truth on who set her up, and when she does, I believe that she will disown Drew. But Monet will most likely forgive Diana once she learns about the pregnancy. Now whether Monet finds out that Tasha actually pulled the trigger remains to be seen. But for some reason I get the strange feeling that someone else witnessed Monet being shot. Moving on to Effie. We saw her save Tariq and Brayden by informing Tariq of Drew and Kane being on campus to take them out. For some reason Effie seemed to think that Tariq would forgive her after this. But the main question that always surrounds Effie is what are her true motives. Now sure we know that she wants to attend grad school at Stanford, which is located in California. But Effie missed the meeting that she was supposed to attend due to her meeting up with the Russian Connect. There was yet another red flag moment with Effie last episode. How exactly was Effie able to locate the Russian Connect's daughter so easily on social media? So you mean to tell me that a major Russian Connect within the underworld was that easily accessible to find on social media? This is the second time we have seen Effie locate someone's daughter. And if you paid attention to the way Effie handled the Russian Connect, her tactics seemed very similar to how someone who was undercover would make a deal. Now whether Effie has a history of being an informant or not, it still doesn't take away from the fact that she has always moved in a shady way. Which still makes me question where does she really stand with everyone after it's all said and done. I expect Tariq to turn up the pressure on Noma in these next few episodes by getting a hold of Anya and using her to his advantage by getting inside info on Noma. I also expect to see Detective Carter find Junior's flash drive if he hasn't already. I could see Detective Carter secretly working with Noma in order to take Tariq down at some point. And lastly, I expect Davis McLean to turn on Tariq down the line in order to get reinstated. On a side note, I think 2-Bit will pop back up on Tariq as well. Tariq taking back his car from 2-Bit was an hilarious moment last episode. I'm very curious to know who 2-Bit was meeting up with at the restaurant. What's your opinion on the first two episodes? Who do you see getting taken out next? Let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe for all things within the Power Universe. See you all next time in the universe of power.